Hi guys, um, welcome to my page. I'm not, I'm very new at YouTube, but I'm still trying to work out my page, my cooking page. But um, thank you for subscribing and liking my page and sharing them with your friends and families. And today is Saturday, and tomorrow, tomorrow is Father's Day. So today I'm just going to make some lunch, you know, some dinner with. I'm cooking a. Welcome to my page. Thank you guys. Cooking a big head. Look. Oh. It's scary, isn't it? it? Looks scary. And then you can see I already. This, I cook this a lot, many times, and it comes out very beautiful. It depends how you cook it. If you don't know how to cook it, it's not going to be yum. But uh, if you know how to cook it, and take your time and learn from the best, <laughs> then you know how to cook it. Cheers, guys. Having a glass of wine on the weekend and sitting around watching football on TV. And why not putting something in the oven? Like today, you don't. We don't eat this every day. You know, you, it's something special now and then. Because if you eat it every day, then you end up looking like end up looking like what? Mm. Okay, today I'm gonna cook a big egg. You can see I already clean it and slice the skin. Um, it goes in the oven. So I'm cutting the ear off. I don't like the ear. The Asian, the Chinese people use the ear. They eat the ear. Some people use it for their cooking. But you can put it in the microwave for two minutes. And cool it down and your dog will love it. Better than straight away. Your dog or your cat will, will love you for a week or two. It depends how big your dog is. Okay guys, the ears off. Um, what I'm doing, I'm going to turn it over. Turn the big head over. And I'm going to put some flavours in there. I to put a veggie salt. Try to keep it dry because we wanted it crunchy on the skin. Put heaps of it over there. They're just giving the flavour to the to the dish. Bit of dry herb, we see. I keep reminding you guys we have a kit that doesn't eat spicy, but otherwise, perfect thing to put it on, on here is a spicy, you know, the powder, the red spicy powder. And give it a wrap around. Just the flavour. See the bit of brain, half the brain there? I've got my whole brain there, that's just I'm talking about the pea kit. Okay, then now turn it over. And the only thing I'm gonna well, let me wash my hands. Nothing else is going on the skin. Salt. Just salt. No more table salt. Then you put salt, your hands are wet. You wet your hands. And then what do you do? You massage, rub it into the skin. Don't be scared to rub it, you know, like you're doing massage. And that skin is going to be crunching as hell. And it'll be beautiful. You don't need to put oil in here. It's a pig head. So many people want to see the pecan goes here. But I promise you, you won't disappoint disappointed if I cook it and you have to cook it my way. Please make a comment on the on the video. And let me know what you think. And let me know if you had to try it for yourself and find out. Because many people say, when they say pig head or pig feet, they say, ew. But they never try it. Let me cook it for you. And then just when you say, oh, that's not yuck. That's it. I've got a pig head now. I've got a tray here. Put a pig head on it. Let's move this um, Oh, so We've got our pig head in there. Got some of the thing there. 
We've got our big head there, it's all salty and don't put no water, no oil on. Oh, let me show you. I've got lemongrass, all lemongrass growing in my garden outside. All you do is snap them and you line them on the bottom, to the bottom of the tray. So your big head's going on. Another thing I use, I use half onion. I just cut it in half. You don't have to, but I wanted to level the the big head on the tray. So I cook it beautifully. Oh, there you go. There. The lemon glass is lined up in the wrong spot. There. Even if you put a bone on the bottom, you know the bone will touch the tray, that's, that doesn't matter. Okay. I shall I'll use the onions. The onions is going under the the meat. And the reason why, look how leveled it is. Look. And that onion will give the moisture to the to the meat and make the meat cook in the same level. Okay guys, I'll put this in the oven for it's going to go in the oven for three hours. Three hours? Yeah, it's a slow cooking time. But you put the oven on a high for 150 degrees. No, you put it on the oven high, sorry. You put it on the stove, on the oven. Turn the oven up to a full blast, 150. Every half an hour you check, make sure the skin's not burning. After 150, um, after one and a half hour, then you turn it down to 150. And leave it for another hour and a half. I hope I made you guys kind of understand. I have a sort of maybe something in this one. Cheers, guys, and I'll be back in a minute to show you how it works. Not a minute, maybe in after three hours. I do the matching over here. Don't forget to describe on uh, my page and um, comment whatever you want. Okay, I'll be back. Sorry guys, um, I didn't have to finish. <laughs> um, you put half a cup of water on the tray. You know, half a cup of water or a cup of wine. But I rather a cup of water because, you know, we've got a kid here and, you know, doesn't want to smell alcohol. Okay, half a cup of water and put it in the oven for three hours. And on a high. And after an hour and a half, then put it down 150 on low and just finally cook the whole thing. Okay, I'll be back again. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I think our pork is cooked now. Yeah, our pork's cooked now and it didn't take that long. <laughs> um, I think, wait a minute, I'll go and get the pork. Here yeah, goes, guys. It's all done. It's um, a pork is cooked. Uh, I let it settle down a little bit. Yeah. And it's beautiful. There you go. Our evening is nearly finished, and we can watch our movies. Sit back in our pork. We, I made some rice to go with the pork because it goes with. Taro, um, look how crunchy that is. Taro, green banana, yam, or potato. Okay, and maybe we should taste this little baby. Huh? Oh, that just fall off. Oh. Look at that. Beautiful. It's the best part of the beak, you know. The best part of the meat is closer to the bone. And you don't eat this every day, so um, we just eat it now and then. When we feel like, a, you know, the real flavor of a pork, it comes from the big head. So don't be scared and don't be afraid to eat it. And you guys want to taste some? Grace, Evelyn, you want to taste some? Huh? You just want to taste huh? some pork? No. Look at the meat. Mmm. 
Ja. Mm-hmm. Hansa. Er du med? Hej. Han kan nyse på. Den er helt fornemmelig. Mm. Den er skin. Du er en eller skin. Ja. Mm. 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 Så er det lidt i dag. Kold på overvand. Mm. Mm. Ja, med, ja, med. Så er det en af de Ja, maybe once a month. Or when you have friends over. Best meat. Beautiful. And don't forget um, to subscribe. Um, what do you call it again? Subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. And don't forget to hmm? press the button where it comes from. Hmm. Thumbs up. Okay. Subscribe. Hey baby. No. Mm. Yeah. Oh that's Grace. That's everything. That's, that's my little family. And happy Father's Day. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Yum. Tomorrow um Yummy. Mm. The family we're gonna get together and having um Father's Day lunch. So I might post another video of what we're making for today for lunch tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching and looking forward to see you guys again. And um also we're going to Shanae's house, isn't it? My cousin's mm -hmm. house. Yeah, we'll do all that. Thank you. My cousin's and the same as him. Thank you and see you later. Thanks, Bye. Guys.